Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and this is just a quick update on the jet boat project. I've been working on it, uh, took the interior out, and getting ready to do some fiberglass work, and started sanding on it. Anyway, this video is just a quick update, progress update, kind of let you know where I'm at and, and what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so made a little bit of progress. I got the seats out, got the carpet out, and uh, that center console that someone kind of built, I got that out. Now you can see where these seats are bolted onto. Man, there's a ton of holes in it where they had screwed that plate on top. Um, probably got some holes for the seats. I might have to do something with that. I'm not sure what yet. I'm going to have to rebuild these somehow. I don't know if I want to turn them completely down and, and start over or maybe add some layers of fiberglass and some metal. I don't know. But you can see over here You can see right there, the fiberglass is busting out a little bit. I'm not sure what the problem is there, but I'll probably chip that off and re-fiberglass that. Uh, it's got a board glued down to the floorboard right there. I'm not sure what that is. But now you can see the motor. That's going to be easy to get out now. You wouldn't have been able to pull the motor with that seat in there. Now you got plenty of access to pull that. Still got a lot of the outside to do. Got this side molding here, uh, like these things. I've still got to, uh, of course, get the motor out. And I still got all the gauges to get out right there. And the steering column. Not sure what this is right here, but it's like clack, uh, cracking. It came apart or something. So I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Probably chip that out, that loose stuff, and refiberglass it. Uh, and here's that over here where that's loose. Probably try to take most of that off and refiberglass that. But it's just this side. That side's not really like that. It's in a lot better shape over there. But I'll probably refiberglass both of them. These side panels came off pretty easy. Those was bolted on right. I got to the back of those and was able to unscrew those like it should. Of course, the seats, they wasn't used the, using the original uh, bolts to bolt those in. So I had to rip that seat up to get them out. But I'll try to figure out a way when I go back to do it right that if they do have to be taken out, you know, you don't have to tear the interior apart to do it again. As always, I really appreciate you for watching these videos. Uh, if you like the video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go down in the comment section and leave us a comment below. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video.